In relation to that speech, it is quite a remarkable feat, isn't it? Boris Johnson, one of the first leaders uh, to go to Kyiv, uh, the first leader to address the Ukrainian uh, parliament. There is no doubt, is there, that the Ukrainians have valued his support. I think that's quite clear. I think the Prime Minister has certainly been ahead of the game when it comes to showing that unwavering support for Ukrainian people. Um, and I, f I definitely think it's a case that President Zelensky has, you know, sees uh, the Prime Minister as arguably being his most reliable and dependable ally. Uh, and, and as a Brit and as a British MP, I'm quite proud of that. Uh, and, and on this issue, Tom, of kind of extra weapons for uh, Ukraine, is there a feeling that Britain is, is doing enough? Or, or do you feel actually in some ways we should possibly even go further? Um, it, it, is, it is, of course, a, a delicate balancing act. I think we want to be as uh, robust and as strong as we, we can be. Uh, and we have done more in terms of we were the first country in the world to give lethal um, you know, sort of military equipment to the Ukrainian army, uh, one of the most um, giving countries in that regard. Um, you know, we are dealing with, in, in, in Russia, uh, a nuclear power. So, you know, we, we want to be conscious of that. Uh, but at the same time, we want to be pushing it as far as we possibly can uh, in terms of, um, you know, giving them the military equipment we need. And I think we've got that balance about right so far. The Prime Minister is determined to do everything he can. And if there's an opening for him to do a bit more, he'll always take that opening and take that opportunity. Um, and I think we're getting a balance about right at the moment.